Hello, welcome back to the Newcastle career mode. This is going to be the start of season two, episode 20. In today's episode, we will be picking our pre-season tournament. We will be going through the squad. We'll be uh, welcoming the uh, other additions to the squad from the pre-season contracts, which includes Jack Wilshere, uh, Stephen Corker, and our new goalkeeper, Lopez. Also, we're going to do some training. We'll start training up and we'll also pick a squad to play in the preseason. What I'll do with the preseason is I will um, play the semi final or the final if we get in. So, if we get, get to the semi final, I will play the semi final. But for now, I don't think I will because I just want to sim it and then start making some transfers. Right, so here's the preseason tournament invite. Let's see where we've been. That's. Mm. They're not the best, I'm not going to lie to you. Switzerland, France or Belgium. Who's got the most money? It's Belgium, so we'll go Belgium. I've been Belgium before. They've got a very nice chocolate there. Very, very nice. Alright, so, so now we're in the uh, group. So we've got standard Liège and that Turkish team and another Belgium team. Now we get to the more important thing. So we've got this one. Oh, that's the international. That's the um, pre-season. So we've got, first up is Jack Wilshire in the squad. Then we've got Stephen Corker in the squad. We've got Mana. And we've also got Pyle Lopez. But unfortunately, Foden has gone back to Man City. And Calvin Lewis has gone back to Everton. Both fantastic players. I was happy to have them on the squad. They deserved their spot when they played. Now, a player I do want to go and have a look at trying to get back into the team is a popular man from last season. And he plays for Dortmund. And his name is Mikel Marino. So we'll short to the transfer hub because I'll be very interested in trying to get him. But for now, we'll go look at our new sidings. So let's start right to the bottom. Here we go. So we've got an 82 rated Jack Wilshire through the door. Some very nice stats. And I, I really like the way he plays. So I think he'll be a great addition in that team alongside Shelby. Left mid is still a position I might go and look at. Because Aaron's he played well, but didn't get the goals I needed him to. Atsu played well. Uh, we've also got Richie, Harrison, Edwards and Murphy. Now, that is a bit of a problem, having all these guys in the same position. So, what I might do is I might look to loan some of these guys out. Right back, I feel that's real strong there. Centre back, I feel we're quite strong there. Now, we've got Stephen Cork through the door as well. Also, Alfie Mawson. So maybe, unfortunately, the cells might have to be loaned out or sold, along with Dummett as well, because also we've got Sessignon, who's grown very well. El Sharani, who is our first choice. However, I did just see this guy. He's come back from loan. Um, to be honest, I, I don't see him as a, a very good left back. You know, I don't know, because like... He looks on one of the yeah, high high. Well, Shrine's had high high. They're, they're very similar to be fair. I might actually give him a chance in the tournament, pre-season tournament. Uh strikers might look to get a new striker in. Maybe uh bring Ben Teke in from Crystal Palace now that Crystal Palace have been relegated. Uh also I think goalkeeper, we're gonna put Lopez in now. There he is, number he's 23 years old, six foot two. Is he, what's his uh, stats saying? So he's got good stats, all in the 70s. All up, above 70 as well, some above 75, which is good. Good to see. We've also got... Who else do we, we have this guy, who uh, I have on my uh, Ulmer team. And he's very pacey, very fast. He can play in a number of positions. He's young. I think he'll be a great addition to the squad. Now, Cruel and Cells. I'm going to look to sell them so we can get some funds in. So hopefully we can uh, get rid of them. Acosta's out on the uh, international duty as long as with Bruma and Yedlin, El Sharani. Oh, Wilshig also got called up. That was before he came to uh, Newcastle. So we are going to be without some of our players for the pre-season tournament, but not too many. So that's good. Get to try the, uh, get to see the depth of our squad. Right now, moving on to the transfer seat. Shall I go for Coleman again? That'd be a great addition. Um, actually, I forgot to check. How much money do we have? Oh, that is a... It's not a bad amount. And a suggestion was to do a takeover, financial takeover, because it could happen in real life for Newcastle. Um, now, at the end of this episode, I will leave a poll in saying, yes, take the money. No, don't take the money. 
and whether comes for whether is the most highly voted i will go for that decision um honestly i'm happy with the budget but it'd be nice to get a bit more money so we can get some more players in just down to you guys but i do want to try and get benteki in straight off the bat just get that striker in who's got goals in him and is a quality player looking around we've also got barkley in there sigerson and some other leicester players because they got relegated but i think my first try our first player i want to try and sign is that man benteke all right here we go listen we want a goalkeeper that's actually perfect because we're looking to get rid of some goalkeepers um right so we're not going to get rid of woodward we're not getting rid of lopez who's more expensive out of cruel and yeah so we'll have to give cruel we'll give cruel how about that they were 25 mil are they absolutely crazy uh, proposed new transfer fee of bloody hell calm down 15 mil that's what I'm looking mate we'll add a sell on clause to like I don't know 3% just try making a bit more like what yeah that's fine but I think he might storm out the building if he's not careful ah that's a bit better 17 mil but that's 6% sell on clause he is 27 years old and his price will be starting to drop soon so that 6% won't matter too much in the long term so i'm actually going to go and accept that so tim cruel is now going to head off to crystal palace and ben teke if we can get his signature on the dotted line we will have ben teke through the door at newcastle united that's cool that's cool and now wages oh signing bonus of 980k and after 20 goals he wants 22 mil i'm happy with the wage although his current wage is 46k uh, 64k isn't that bad for a player of his stature. So if I just remove the uh, 20 goal bonus and then submit that, maybe give him a. Nah, we'll do that and see what they say. Okay, so it'll up his wage to 77k, but then we wouldn't have to pay 2 million uh, after 20 goals, which I'm hoping he could try and get this season. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that deal for that man, Ben Teke. Welcome to the club, Mr. Christian Ben Teke. What a striker. What a player we've just brought in. That's just made our squad even better. And we need some players, good players for this uh, upcoming season. He slots in there lovely with Ben Arthur just behind him with Jack Wilshere. Bruma. Oh, this team's coming along very nice now. It's looking very nice. Now the training. Uh, let's have a look who we can get training. I'll pick some players and I'll come back to you. Right, these are the players I've picked. I've picked Edwards, Hayden and Lopez. I want to try and get Hayden to a better rating to get him more of a useful player. I wanted Lopez to get trained up a little bit more to get into that 80 rated uh, mark and also Edwards who was being trained last season but hopefully we can get him even higher right then we've got some emails here some interest has been shown into Ross Barkley and 30 mil for, for Ross Barkley I might have to go and look and try and get onto that because 30 mil for Ross Barkley could be very cheap also Bruma's wanted and I'm just going to go up and block that straight away no way am I selling my best defender it was quality last season. So now I'm going to go have a look at Ross Barkley because we might be able to like maybe sort Perez. I see Perez if they're interested. Depends what they're interested in looking to try and get rid of. So we're approached to buy now. Oh, I don't know. I forgot what my way, my money was. But after buying Benteke, I don't think it'll be too great. 21 mil, that's not too bad. Let me sort this nonsense out. I don't like having all the budget like weird numbers. I just want it like a straight number, like 22 mil. Now, are they happy with that? 22 million. 26 million. Mm. With a 5% sell on clause. Okay, so if we counter that and we go for a new. If we go to 23 mil and then just put the uh, sell on clause down to 4%, would they be happy with that? That's a better offer. Okay, so Barkley might be coming in. Now. Now, the thing is, do I really need Barkley? I mean, Ben Arthur last season, as you all know, was quality. But if I bring Ben Arthur, where, 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 where would he play? Oh, I could actually play Ben Arthur on the left. I know he can't play there, but that, he could play there. I feel he could play there. And then maybe Barkley in the cam position. 
Oh, I'm not sure. I don't think actually I need Barkley. I think I might look to invest it on Coleman. You know what? I'm, yeah, because I'm, I've got the money. I'm not going to go straight out and try and buy Ross Barkley. I don't need him. I've got I've got some good youngsters in the club. But, oh, but it's Ross Barkley. I think it would be a great signing to miss out on to get Ross Barkley in the team. Or we could go for Kinsley Coleman or even Townsend. Townsend would be a cheaper option. Uh, could look at getting Gray, maybe, from um, Leicester City. Oh, I'm not sure for left mid. I think Coleman would be a great addition to this squad. He's got Champions League experience. He's won the league in uh, Germany, France, Italy. So I think out of these two, Barkley and Coleman, the position I really need more is a winger. And I think it would be Coleman. I can even play Jack Wilshere in cam if I need to. And I've got Marcus Edwards who can play in cam as well. Um... I would love to have Ross Barkley in the squad, don't get me wrong, but I think Coleman might be the right decision to go for. He's younger, and he's what we need at the moment, although we could get a good deal for Ross Barkley. It's, oh, this is a tough, tough one, you know. Um, I'm going to give it, uh, I'm gonna give it um, maybe a few days, see what happens with the Man United offer, see how that goes down. Um... But let me change the squad around. Because I don't want to just rush into a deal. So I do want to have Ben Taki up front. We'll have Izzy Perez in cam. We'll bring... We'll play uh, Mana and Sessignon. No, I'll try Lazar. I said I was going to try Lazar. We'll also try Alfie Mawson and Stephen Corker. Or not... Yep, Stephen Corker. We'll also bring Mankio in. We'll also look to... We'll put Edwards in the right. Shelby can't... I mean, Wilshire can't play the moment, so we'll put Hayden and Shelby in the midfield. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that team. And we'll also put in Woodman instead of Lopez. So that will be the team for the first game of the preseason tournament. Hopefully they can get a win here. If not, it won't be the end of the world. Now then, here we go. This is the opening game of the season. And we win 4-1. Izzy Perez gets a goal. Shelby gets two goals. And Amankio gets a goal. A great 4-1 win. In the first game of the preseason tournament, Benteke didn't score, but did he assist at all? Uh, let's have a look. We just do that and then that. No, Corker scored. Uh, Corker got an assist and Perez got an assist. Ah, interesting. Very interesting. All right then. Which Rich wanted to start? I didn't actually see that. You know, I'm th I've been thinking I'm gonna go for Coleman. Well, I'm just gonna do a straight up transfer fee for Coleman. Well, for 20 mil, 21 mil, straight up. This is our uh, wait. How much would they want? 34 mil. All right, so maybe Parkley might be the uh, way forward if we can't negotiate a good deal here. How about 23 mil? Get rid of this shit. And then we'll look to see what uh, selling cause they would add. They'd want 32 mil. Let me do another. Let me do a 24 mil. And then we will add a sell-on clause to the deal. We'll add a sell-on clause about 4%. They're going to need some time to consider that deal for Coleman. Okay, I think this is just decided it for me. Um, They want too much money for Coleman. And look at that. Barclay's already looking forward to the prospect of even moving to Newcastle. So... I think the decision has been made for me by the game. It is going to be Ross Barkley. I mean, I'd love Coleman in the squad. Don't get me wrong. But Barkley might have to, will have to be the player that I look to bring in. 74k with the 20 appearances. So he's already... That's 1 mil and a signing bonus for 1 mil as well. That would take a look at our budget. We're going to have to counter that. We're going to have to remove the bonus. Submit offer. And they'll probably increase his wage to 86. But we do get a bit more money. All right, we'll do that. That's the done, done and done, done and dusted. Come on, great deal there. Barkley is now in the squad. Sorry, Perez. Barkley is coming in. He's going to be taken over. Like that. There we go. That is our team. I reckon. Obviously, let's change the defence as well. Obviously, I think you get the picture. I think Mankio over Yedlin maybe because of the rating. Or well, Yedlin had a fantastic season last last season. So. I don't know, it's a hard one with Bruma as well in there. I think it's still going to be great. 
But because this preseason tournament will obviously change the players, we'll look at Richie. Uh, we'll also look at putting Aaron's there. Hayden. Uh, we'll look at Smith as well. Oh, Barkley's been called up for Eng um, England, which is good news. Edwards and Cam. We also have. Oh, Yedlin's away on preseason um, World Cup duty, so he won't actually be around. Uh, we'll also put in Lascelles. And we'll put Sessignon in and we'll put our new goalkeeper in for the next game. Right, then we are moving into the second game of the season. Paul Dummett has requested to play this game, but I'm going to choose not to. So, let's see this game. Let's see how we get on against Oostend. Hopefully the boys can get a good result here. Go on, Ben Teke, get a goal if you can. 2-1 victory, man. Kio and Mabemba. Great game. Good goals. Right, I've just uh, finished. So what I've done is Dwight Gale's on, up for loan now. Uh, also, Tony's up for loan. Harrison's up for loan. Uh, Phil's up for loan. Um, all these guys are up for loan. Apart from these guys who are up for transfers. Uh, Edwards is up for loan. Murphy, I've put up for transfer. Uh, he's up for transfer. Uh, he's, Lazar, Lazar is up for uh, transfers. Also, Paul Dummett. If you do want me to keep any of these players, just uh, put a comment in saying... Uh, can you save this player because we, we want to keep him but those are the players I think that I don't really need at the moment there we go this is our third match and we win 4-0 Ben Teke gets a goal awesome and Keo gets a goal again god how many goals is that for Mankio now that uh, is three goals for Mankio oh my god no way Musa Dembele signed for Stoke what a sign that is then eh all right, here we go. This is the uh, semi-final against Konya Spore. So here we go. On. A 3 0 win. Ben Arthur, two goals. And Atsu, a goal. And Lazar gets sent off. Coming up, we've also got a transfer. All right, here we go. We've got a transfer for, for Jacob Murphy. Right, I've just accepted the deal for Jacob Murphy for Reading. Um, hopefully, he'll have a good uh, season career there as well. Good luck to Murphy if he does leave. Right, what's this? Another email press conference? Nah, can't be asked to do a press conference. But this is uh, going to be the preseason final. And we can pick up a good result here. Come on, let's go. Alright, so. It looks like they have Menez playing for them because that is who that guy is on the right hand side, Menez. Now, some players aren't fully fit, so what I will do, I might. Because I want to try Benteke out. So maybe Benteke up front. I want to try Richie on the right. We'll bring maybe Sessignon maybe up. Now we'll put Aaron's left mid. Uh, put Edwards in Cam. We'll have Shelby and Hayden. Uh, we'll also have Alfie Mawson and Mabemba. We'll also have, yep, Mankio. And we'll also have Sessignon. And I'm happy with Lopez to see how he gets on. Now, captain is going to be Shelby. So this is the team for the preseason final. Hopefully we can get a good result here against... I just forgot who the team was, but yeah. Let's go. Come on. Looking at this club, they've got some good players. There's Nasri there. They had Sandru just a minute ago. They have Menes playing for them. So they don't have the worst team in the world. Jesus, I thought they were going to be an easy team, but it's nice to see all this confetti on the ground. That's quite a nice touch. Oh, good player from Aaron. Finds Benzeke. I think I was up for Edwards, who looks for Richie. Richie turns. Come on, Richie, get a good penalty. Oh, it's going to be a free kick, not a penalty. We've got some good free kick takers, I think, on the pitch. Let's have a look. And Richie is a good free kick taker. Oh, so Shelby is. We could also just try and pass it to Richie, and Richie shoots first time. Oh, my God. Less power on that, and that could have been beautiful. Unlucky. Good chance, though. Well, that is half time there. I'm not going to lie. That was quite a dull first half. Apart from that free kick that Richie should have put in the uh, back of the net. But apart from that, we had a couple of shots. But none of them really to test him. Hopefully it picks up in the second half. Ah, right, come on, Newcastle. You got this. Oh, shit, man. This is just scored. That's 1-0 to... Ah, oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Come on, boys. We're better than that. Mike make some subs, actually. Because it is pre-season, we can make as many subs as we like. So pretty much, I'm going to make every single substitution. 
I'm allowed to make. So Lascelles, Corker as well, and Woodman as well. There you go. <sighs> Going all out. Look at this. Look at all these players coming on. What? No, rare. Oh, I just lost the preseason final, boys. Ah, it's a shame. Not started off too bad. We just couldn't finish our chances. We had great chances there. Just couldn't finish them off, unfortunately. But we have lost. Oh, that is re that's just really annoying. I know it doesn't really matter too much, but losing in a final is never good. Oh, well. End it. Before I do end it there, I will just announce that Lazar has moved. But that wasn't the announcement. That just popped up at the right time. But it's Ben Arthur, who has won the goal of the season competition for his goal. Um... I can't remember who it is against because he had three goals that he did in the game. Uh, but it was the one where he flicks it up and then uh, basically volleyed it. And it was a very good goal. I do agree that was the best one. So well done, Ben Arthur. I'll put the clip in now. So that is the winner. I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. It has been a long episode. I do apologise. But we got a lot of done to st got a lot of stuff done today. Unfortunately, we did lose the uh, final. But we'll move on uh, into the first game of the season against Manchester United. Hopefully next game. But more transfers to be made next uh, episode. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.